What's up guys, hope you're all doing awesome. Welcome to this week's Tutorial Tuesday. If you caught last week's episode, uh, you would have seen us uh, take a look at delay pedals and kind of take a look at some of the like more common uh, controls on a delay pedal. And in this week's episode, I wanna go a little bit further, a little deeper and talk about a specific uh, type of delay effect that we can do. And that's the dotted eighth delay. Super popular, sounds really cool. Uh, works really well in certain uh, circumstances. So let's take a look. So like what the heck is dotted eighth delay? Now the more complicated explanation is that every time you strum a note, the delay is gonna repeat that note every dotted eighth or every eighth note and a half, or you can think of it as every three sixteenth notes. Now this is gonna be a little bit slower than an eighth note delay but a little faster than a quarter note delay. Let's have a listen and see what quarter note delay would sound like. I'm just gonna lift up my guitar so you can see what I'm playing. You can hear how those delay repeats line up really well with uh, the notes that I'm currently playing. So everything's really in line, really tidy. You may not have really noticed that there was delay going until I stopped playing and you could hear those trails. Now let me switch over to eighth note delay. See how this sounds. This one was probably a little more apparent than the quarter note delay, but still all those repeats were still lining up with the rhythm that I was playing on the guitar. And now let's take a listen to the dotted eighth delay. That one probably sounded a lot more rhythmic. I uh, probably stood out a lot more and probably felt like it had more of a groove to it. This is because the dotted eighth note delay has kind of an irregular beat division. It's not landing in the same place every time. It's kind of slightly staggered um, as the repeats go along. So it kind of lands in different spots, giving a more like rhythmic tone. It also is more obvious and kind of stands out a little bit more. I had said that that was the more complicated explanation for dotted eighth delay. The simpler explanation would be just to call it, it's the delay that makes you sound like the edge from U2. Okay, so let's talk about how to create a dotted eighth delay. Now, if you're fortunate enough to have a delay pedal that lets you select beat divisions, I mean, th this is gonna be super easy. All you have to do is just select the dotted eighth setting. Um, here in the 500X edit software, it's just listed as eighth and dot. Most likely you'll see the actual picture of an eighth note with a dot behind it. Um, just select that and you'll probably have a tap tempo and you can just tap your tempo in or even select your tempo and get that synced perfectly and you're good to go. Now for some other delay pedals, uh, you might have to get a little bit more creative. I know back when I had a Boss DD7 delay, and I believe it was the 800 millisecond mode. Uh, if I selected that and then tap tempoed, it would give me a dotted eighth delay. If your delay pedal doesn't have any kind of like beat division selection, and maybe doesn't even have a tap tempo, you know, something like a, some kind of analog pedal, like a carbon copy or DM2. This is a little tricky, so I'm sorry, especially if you're new to dotted eighth delays. But basically what you're gonna do is, I like to just pick between two strings, that way I can kind of hear the rhythm better. And you just keep adjusting your time knob until that dotted eighth rhythm locks in. So it'll sound something kind of like this as you kind of search for it. So you just be adjusting your time knob on the delay and keep trying it until you hear this. It's just that real distinct rhythmic uh, feel and it, it, you can feel it lock in when it's there. If you go too fast, you'll end up with 
eighth notes. And if you go too slow, you end up with quarter notes. So kind of go somewhere in between. Then if you want to get really nerdy with it, you can actually math out uh, the tempo that you need to be at to be able to like get a dotted eighth delay. So this is something that I did back like years ago when I had an HD 300, which didn't give me the option for dotted eighth. It just had eighth and then like quarter. And so what you do is you take your tempo of your song, you multiply it by four, and then divide that number by three. And then the answer you get, that's gonna be the tempo that you set your delay to. And then when you're playing with the song, it'll be a dotted eighth rhythm. Uh, so check this out. So for instance, um, everything I've been playing in this video has been at 120 BPM. So if I wanted to uh, program in just a basic quarter note delay to be able to do a dotted eighth note delay, what I would do is I would take the tempo 120, multiply it by four, and then divide that by three, and I would get 160. So I've changed my tempo in the delay pedal to 160. And now check it out. Um, I have a metronome in my ear right now, but it, the metronome's clicking at 120. So listen to how, when my delay is set for 160 BPM, these quarter note delays are gonna sound like that at AF. Cool, it's like a cool little math hack. It works pretty well if you're able to dial in the tempo. So what can you use data eight delay for? Well, I like to use it for like rhythmic stuff. So like uh, single note plucked lines uh, can sound really good. Just like the stuff that I've been playing in these demos. And I've been doing a little bit of palm muting as I've been doing these demos, uh, just to kind of help like make it sound more staccato and to accentuate the uh, the rhythmicness of it. You could also use it for strummy stuff as well. You kind of got to be a little bit careful uh, if you're doing big open strums with like a lot of a lot of rhythm and things because things can get kind of messy quick. So you just have to play it by ear. My advice for your settings for your dotted eighth, you can push the mix or the level of the delay up pretty far so that it really stands out. But then I suggest pulling the feedback or the repeats, pull it down so that there's only a few of them. That way the delay trails won't overlap too much and kind of make everything sound messy and muddy. So something like this is probably pretty good. That's actually probably the most I would do as far as uh, the feedback amount. Okay guys, that's what I have for you for dotted eighth delays. Hopefully this was a good intro for you. If you found this video useful or informative or interesting in any kind of way, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. So until then, uh, try not to break any G strings. Uh, all right guys, see you later. I had a carbon copy delay pedal for a little while. It was it was really great, but like it doesn't have a tap tempo or anything. So I used it for like one song at church. And so I, I like spent like all of dress rehearsal, like getting with my toe, like of my shoe, just like adjusting the time so that it was like just right. And then I think I took a picture of it with my phone. That way I could remember like exactly where the knob needed to be. So I could always like adjust it back in place if it ever got bumped.